Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garn and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today we're going to make fun envelopes with napkins and music paper. But first let's have our shout out to Leanne, Julie, Gwyneth, Diane, Liberty Lost, Darnice, Darnice, Lois, Grace, and Brittany. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have my music paper here. And I have my beautiful napkin. Isn't this one a beauty? Now, napkins come in... Oh, I thought I had my napkin here. Oh, here we are. Napkins come in plies. So, here's the napkins that I have. And they come in different plies. Two, three. Now, you want to remo remove the all the plies of the napkins and this one just happens to remove really nicely there's two right here there's one and there's two you just gently pull it apart okay and so that's what i have right here i have my napkin that i have already pulled apart now i am going to use watered down school glue this is not mod podge it is watered down school glue, more glue than water, but I don't I don't measure or anything like that. I personally, now I used to, I used to use Mod Podge, but I didn't like it and I don't like it so much so that I don't have any Mod Podge anymore. I threw mine away. That's how much I don't like it. It's tacky. It never seems to dry all the way. It's very heavy. It's sticky. It, it's just not my thing. Now, because I'm using white school glue, watered down white school glue, and I'm making this project, if you don't use the white, watered down white school glue, your project's going to be a little different than mine. But if you love Mod Podge, then you should use Mod Podge. So everyone has their preference. I just don't care for it. Alrighty, so... I have got my brush, I have put my glue right onto my music paper, and I'm just taking my brush, it's just a, a brush like this, and I'm just smoothing out my glue onto my music paper, just like this. And because I'm going to trim it, I don't going to worry about taking it all the way to the edge too much, because I am going to trim this music paper. And I'm going to take my napkin and I'm just going to lay it right on the top. Now, it's going to have a few wrinkles. I think wrinkles bring character. They don't bother me at all. And so I've got that down. Now I'm going to add just a little bit more glue on the top. And I am gently just going to spread this out. Now, if you keep going over and over the napkin it will break apart so work rather quickly and be light light-handed on it and i'm just going to spread it out and you definitely want to let it dry now i have a standing heater and you know it's cool so in my home so i'm able to use my standing heater and i can get this dried very fast now to do the other side i'm just going to move my napkin up gently I'm not, didn't press it down and I'm just going to once again spread out my glue with my brush and then bring my napkin down like this now, it's been a little while since I've showed this process and I just thought that it was time that I should show it again so this is absolutely a gorgeous napkin my daughter gave me those napkins for Valentine's Day. How beautiful, right? So here we are. And we're just spreading it out just like that. Nothing to it. Just work, work quickly. But, you know, you don't have to like totally rush. But you don't want to dilly-dally too much. So I've got it all spread out, and now I'm going to set it to dry. All right, so let me set it to dry. 
All right, so after it's completely dry, it's going to curl a little bit and it's going to have a little bit of wobble. So what I do is I get my iron. This is not even plugged in, but I get my iron and I get a piece of paper and I place it on top of my music paper and I actually turn this on high and I just iron it. Okay. And then after I do, whoopsie, I do one side, then I turn it over and I actually do the other side just like that. And so after that is completely done, it's nice and flat. Okay. Now I've already cut this to the size that we're going to use. And this happens to be seven inches by seven inches. It does need to be a square. So what you want to do is you want to kind of decide which one's going to be your flap. Hmm. I think I want this to be my flap. So I'm going to take this corner, whoops, this corner and this corner, and I'm going to line my ruler up and I'm going to just make a mark right here in the center. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to take it from this corner to this corner and I'm going to make a little mark. Then once again, I'm going to see where that was that I wanted to use. I think it was this one. So I'm going to take my corner and I'm going to fold it in to where the lines cross and I'm going to fold it. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to fold it right where my lines meet and I'm point to point. Fold it. And then I'm going to turn this up and I always like to place these corners onto a line and then bring this up to another line. Choose the line in which you want to bring it up to. I'm going to use this dotted line here and I'm just going to pull this up like that and give it a crease. All right, and then I'm going to take my flap and I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. So, maybe something like that. So I actually think I turned it a half an inch and a half an inch. All right, so now we look like this. Oh my goodness, isn't that going to be a beautiful envelope? Very beautiful. So I'm going to open it back up. And this has made, the folds have made a little pie shape right here and a pie shape here. And one more here, one more down here. Okay, those pie shapes. We need to cut them out. Cut where I marked out. So we're cutting these out. Here we are doing this. I love making envelopes. I think they are so much fun. I don't know why, but I do like them a great deal. So let's see here. This cut. Now I always like to look at it again and just kind of check to see. Now, okay, this one. Do you see how it's come just a little bit over? So that just means I need to trim this back just a little bit more. Just like that. All right, that's good and that's good. Now let's look at this top part. All right, not bad. Maybe just a little bit more off of this one right here. Okay. There we go. That is gorgeous. Now what I did was I took my little um, sponge and I'm looking for what the heck would I do with my... Oh, here it is. It's in my drawer. Okay. So I get my vintage photo and I just ink this up and I ink all of my folds. I ink all of my edges. I ink them on the outside. I ink them on the inside and I just ink it up and then I'll be back. All right, so I have inked all the way around. Now, I need to remove my mark here, the little 
X that we made in the center to make our envelope so it turns out square. Alrighty, so now I have some, I've been using this Bow Bunny stencil paste. It's in gold. Before I found this stuff, I was using this inexpensive paint. Now I've got all different types. This is Deco Art. This one's Craft Smart. This one's Folk Art. And they're all acrylic paint and they're metallic gold. Okay, so you can use this type if you don't happen to have this. And I didn't have, happen to have this for quite some time and I was using this inexpensive paint. It turns out the same, no matter, you know, if you use that or if you use this. I also, in my examples, this is when I took it to the machine and I actually sewed around all these little pieces and then I actually sewed around the inside rectangle as well. I'm not going to sew this one to show you what it looks like sewn and what it looks like non-sewn. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take this paste and I am going to gild this. I'm really into gilding here lately. I just think it's so pretty. So I'm just going to take a little bit of time and I'm going to apply this the same place that I put the the, the ink, the Tim Holtz Oxide ink. I'm going to put this gold paint. This is stencil paint. You could use that other paint like I showed you. So I'm going to take just a little bit of time and I am going to gild this. Alright, so I have gilded it all. The inside flap I've gilded as well. And so now let's go ahead and put this together. Now this one right here, I need to bend. Now see, we're putting it together like this. I need to see how that comes up. I need to turn that down and I just need to fold it. I should have gilded that as well. But right now, I'm just going to turn that over like that. I will go ahead and ink it real fast. If I put enough glue on there or not. But there we go. I'm just going to ink it, but I should have also gilded it. Yep, I need to do that. Sorry about that, guys. I really forgot that we had to turn that over. Okay, it needs to all match, right? <laughs> all right, so let me wipe this off of my hands real quick. Now I've got my Tombow glue. You can use any glue that you want. And what we want to do is we want to put our glue right here and right here, and right here and right here, not in the middle. Don't put it there where you folded it over. So we're just going to apply our glue just like this. And then I'm going to apply some glue on the other side. Okay. And then what I like to do is I like to grab a few paper clips. I'm going to fold these in. I'm going to fold this one up. And I like to add my paper clips just to keep it closed while it's drying. I just find that it's the easiest way to do that. All right. So now what I want to do is I'm going to bring in my dish right here. And I see that I forgot one of my labels. So I'm going to have to get my box of labels here, guys. I need a bigger label. Uh, this one would probably be fine. It might be too long. I need a shorter one. Maybe that one. Oh, how about a green one? Oh, I like the green one a lot. Let's do the green one. Okay, so once again, since I forgot it, I'm going to just ink it real quick. Sorry about that, guys. Now, what I'm going to do is I am actually going to turn this over. The point of our flap, I'm going to turn it over just a little bit. This is going to reinforce this flap as well as making it 
not a point anymore and I don't want it to be a point because we're going to do something with this flap. It's part of our closure. So I'm just going to hold that down. So this was the label that I got because I said I needed a little bigger one. I'm going to fold it in half like this and I'm going to get my ink again. I'm going to ink right there where I folded it. Just a little heavier. I think it needs to be just a little heavier. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it right here on my flap. Just like that. So it's going to be glued on. My label is going to be glued on. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> okay, that was a flying label. All right, it just <laughs> flew right off my table. Okay, so we're going to apply our glue to both sides of that label that I just folded in half that flew off the table. And we're going to place it right here, right up against I'm going to push it all the way. I'm not making a tag out of it. I'm using it to reinforce my flap right here on the end. So now it looks like this. Okay. And I'll just put this on here just to, you know, make it stick together maybe a little easier. Now I'm going to just make sure that this is all glued down here. Moving my paper clips. And then what I want to do is I have I have a gift that was given to me for Valentine's Day. My daughter gave me one of these crocodiles. I'm going to tell you something. I thought I could never use one of these because I have tiny hands. I have kid size hands, okay? I didn't think I could do this with it. I didn't think my hand was big enough. I always was under the impression that it was hard to use. It's not hard to use, guys. I can use it just fine. So if you ever thought that, oh gosh, I can't do that because it looks hard, it's not hard. I'm here to tell you that it's an illusion. It's not hard. All right, so we're going to set a rivet. And so I have two of them here. I don't know why I grabbed two, but what we want to do is we want to put a hole right here. I need to dry this for just a second. It feels really damp. All right, I think I've got it dry enough. Now I'm going to take my punch and I am going to punch a hole in my um, label that we just put. Let's see. About right there. There's my hole that I've punched in my label. And now I'm going to take my rivet. I'm going to stick it in the hole and then I'm going to close it. So here we go. Let's get this closed just like that. And now we've got our rivet on there. So pretty, right? Oh, I think that looks beautiful. So now what I want to do is I have a piece of raffia. Now you find raffia in the craft department or even at Walmart where the floral things are. Okay, it's in the floral department. And this is how I'm going to close our envelope. So I'm just going to give a little bit. I just ran it through the rivet and I'm going to tie a bow. And the reason why I'm putting this on now before I put my two little, three little decorations on is to see where I need to put my decorations because I don't really want this to be covering up a whole bunch because I think this is absolutely beautiful on there. Just gorgeous. I think that bow is part of the decoration. So I've got some some butterflies here and I'm just not sure which one I want so let's see here which butterfly do I want I've been putting them in this bottom corner over here maybe this corner and then I've got a label uh, how about this label it says New York office these are Tracy Fox labels but if we do maybe something like that oh yeah that looks beautiful so let's go ahead and let's do that so I'm just going to go ahead and using my Tombow glue 
I'm just going to put my glue on here and I'm just going to lay this down just like this. And I think I want it to be like it's flying. So at an angle, not my label, I want my label to be fairly straight. Maybe like that. Okay. And then I have some gold flat back beads. And I'm just going to put, I think I want two, right here on the body of the butterfly. And I need this one turned over so I can pick it up with my finger. Goodness gracious, it's not going to cooperate. Just like that. Oh my goodness, don't you think that is just beautiful? I absolutely love these. Now look at this one. This is the one that's sewn. You see how it's sewn? I sewed around the face of the envelope and then I sewed here. I sewed all these pieces here. Can you see that? Isn't that a pretty napkin? She gave me that napkin too. That is absolutely gorgeous. And I have one more. She gave me this one as well. I need to make a packet up on the Etsy shop um, with this napkin, this napkin, and this napkin. I'll make a three packet in case you're wanting to pick them up because look how beautiful these are. They have print on the napkin, but not so much that it makes it too busy um, that it just takes away from it. I'm looking. I had one that I made that I really, oh here. I was going to make one out of this, but look how busy that is compared to this. This didn't turn out as well as I was hoping, so I didn't include that in my video. But I just think these are absolutely lovely, and that one's sewn as well. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.